All right, guys, this is beta two. Um, obviously, still not getting the location. So you get that error there. Um, yeah, keep getting that. A couple things. When I do the alarm, the snooze keeps going off. So if I do the alarm, snooze, alarm is on. Snooze is on. Um, 249 here. I'm going to go to 5050. PM. Hopefully the alarm won't go off by then. Hit back. Move it into night mode. Um, and you'll see when it goes off, you'll hear it. For one thing, um, the progressive light needs to be longer too. Probably ideally should be user defined 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, but here you'll see it goes really fast. So I'm going to probably want more time there, at least. That's way too fast for a progressive light, and that last light it should be as bright as can as bright can be as whatever the brightest setting is um, for the white screen. If I hit snooze here, I don't know if you can hear the birds, but if I hit snooze, the, everything still plays. So the snooze isn't working. Also, if I hit snooze, the alarm should still be on as long as the alarm is on. So when I, if I was to wake it, um, the alarm would, should be there until I hit wake. So the wake works fine. The um, this area over here is fine. Um, the calendar. The only minor change is that instead of starting at whatever the default is for one, I think you have it starting at 1 a.m. Have a default to show at like seven or eight. Um, doesn't matter what time, but that's typically when our days start. Here, settings. So as, as you can see, I'm also not sure what the clock brightness handles. Because even if I turn that really low um, and go back, and then night mode, can't tell if that's lighter or darker than it. And I guess I can go back again. The clock brightness really bright. Back. Night mode. The brightness looks the same there, so I'm not sure what what that is um, handling. Haven't tested the alarm volume yet. Um, alarm repeat. That's fine. That's working. Sound. When the user goes through these, they should be able to hear what that sound is there, just like you do on um, any setting in iPhone or iPad so they know what they're clicking. Therefore, if they don't do that, then they have to go and actually listen to the alarm go off um, to hear what that sound is. And that's kind of, you know, not very smart, not very um, intuitive and um, wastes the user's time. So as you see, the snooze was on for seven minutes. That didn't work. The um, sound didn't work. Um, and then if we go with the progressive alarm, I thought I had mapped out a progressive alarm setting either on or off. If not, um, we, we need to talk about that then because I think that should be a setting there. So it should be user defined. Do they want to have the progressive alarm work or not, on or off? Um, so that may be a different level of effort that we should discuss. Other than that, I think we're really close. I have a visual designer working on um, the background for this, the weather area. Um, she's going to be looking at the Chrome for the calendar. Um, probably looking at this calendar piece as well. Other than that, I think we are good. I still one big question around the map. I think it's working pretty well. Um, so when I do a search, Seems a little bit slow sometimes. I don't know if that's the program or Google Maps rendering. Um, but does it seem a little slow? As you see there, it's a bit slow. Um, even 
now. Spike's locked up on me. Can't tell if that's us or... So, let's say I'm in Seattle, like I am, and I want to pizza place, loading, uh, let me change that a little bit. Okay, so let's say I get there. I click on H down here. H. It doesn't seem to be working. Or something else. A. Okay, so I think this is working pretty good. Um, when I hit the link, the map link, it takes me to the map. Or should it, and it goes back, and I do like. Well, I don't want to say I like, but for right now, if we can't do a back button up here, you know, maybe above this title bar, there'd be another bar that has back and refresh. Um, that would be the ideal state. Now, I know that's probably more effort, and I, you know, it, that's the ideal. So if that if that if that's doable, I'd like to know the cost of that. But right now, I do like the fact that when I do click. The land sees it goes to the website. If I go in here, it takes me to the map. Um, so if I click map, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right now it's not working, so I'm not sure why that is. Um, so none of those buttons are working right now. Anyways, the back is the ideal, but the way you have it set up working now is fine. Other than that, uh, I send a video. I'll send this video in there and some comments. Um, let me know where we're at. I think we're close. Some minor things. Um, that's it. Thanks, guys.